The child king Tanjong was on his way to visit his father Munjong and his mother Queen Hyundok who has passed away after giving birth to him. The royal mantle was a burden to the 13-year-old king. His uncle, Prince Suyang, had executed most of the people close to him, relegating him to a nominal title of the ruler. He could only find solace at the grave site of his parents. A royal burial ground where the living meet the dead. It was the only comfort he found in his life. Yungnung and Konnung are situated in Hwasong, Gyeonggi Province. Prince Haru and his son Jongjo are buried here. After King Jongjo assumed the throne, he made it clear that his father was Prince Haru to his royal subjects and had his father's remains moved to Yangju. While most royal tombs of kings are aligned in the center with the sacrificial house, the sacrificial house is located to the right of the Yungnung tomb. Why is this so? According to the principle, Prince Sado's tomb had to follow the design of tombs for princes. However, King Jongjo ignored these rules by having a wall erected around his father's tomb and made it as extravagant as a king's tomb. He was trying to amend his father's untimely death. Since then, once a year, he would make a long trip from the palace to Hwasong to pay respects. People believe that the sacrificial house was placed to the right in order to not disrupt the auspicious energy where the tomb lied. But others say that after seeing his father locked up in a rice chest, he moved the sacrificial house deliberately to provide a great view. The royal tombs of Joseon are where the living meets the dead. There are three sections to a royal tomb. The first section is the Kumcheonggyo Bridge that lets the living enter the domain of the dead. From this point to the Hongsanmun Gate, which is a sacred area, is the pathway to the tomb for the living. The area between the gate and the sacrificial house is for ceremonial rites, where the living and souls of the dead coexist. The tomb and its surrounding area with the stone statues are called the tomb grounds. The long stone laid trail that leads all the way to the sacrificial house from Hongsanmun Gate is named Chamdo. The left side is higher than the right. The left side of the trail is reserved for the souls of the subjects, while the right side is for the kings. Then Chamdo turns right at the sacrificial house and leads to two steps up to the house. The left stairs are called Shinge, while the ones on the right are called Oge. The king will accompany the spirit of the previous king when he climbs these steps to perform a royal ancestral rite at the sacrificial house. While there are two stairways on the east side, there is only one stairway for the king on the west side. It is believed that after the ancestral rite is over, the spirit of the king returns to his tomb through the back window. The tomb grounds are sacred. 
and neither a king nor a priest of the ancestral rites was allowed to enter. A wall encloses the tomb on three sides, and another inner wall completely surrounds the tomb to protect it. A stone slab is placed before the tomb, and it is believed that the spirit takes strolls around this area. A pine tree forest usually lies next to the tomb for additional dignity. Moonin-Sok statue stands in the foreground of the tomb, and Moonin-Sok statue stands below it. Stone animal guardians such as a statue of a tiger or a goat are placed around the tomb to keep evil spirits away. Royal tombs of the Chosun dynasty were a place where the living met the souls of deceased kings. Instead of placing past kings on a pedestal as eternal rulers, the tombs of these kings were perceived as providing solace and comfort to the current king.